the kids are grown, and the money that you're making, they're out of the house. The money that you're making, you're satisfied with it. So they decided that you want to give up nursing for a while. Give it up all together. Good for you. But then the kids came back, the adult kids and the grandkids, and you find yourself, the house get bigger. Your household get bigger. And money is a little tight right now. And you think about maybe it's time to go back and go back into nursing. So this video is for older nurse who may be thinking about they want to get back in the nursing field. They want to get back on the floor. They want to revisit that, reactivate that non-active nursing license. And it doesn't matter if you're RN or LPN. I'm going to talk about the different refresher program that you can get so that you can get right back into nursing. So stay tuned. You're gonna wanna hear this. If you've been out of nursing for at least four years or more, and you feel like as an older nurse, as an older nurse, that you can't make it, this video is for you. Stay tuned. Older nurses, you've been away and you don't feel confident, I would re recommend taking a refresher course and that will help you. It will teach you some new stuff that's going on in nursing. Every day we have to learn. When I go to travel assignment, I have to go to different orientation. Their computer system might be different. The type of computer program that they use and I have to retrain myself. So I know if you've been out of nursing for a very long time, it's very important that you, you take the course. And the reason why the Board of Nursing wants you to take those refresher, they call it refresher program, re-entry re program, is to get you back safely, to practice safely because you don't want to lose that license. And what you have been doing 20 years ago, it may be a new system now. So that's very important to know, something that you need to know, and it will help you along the way. So the refresher course may seem boring, yeah, but it's a clinical base, and you just do it, and before you know it, Back in speed again. How to get back into nursing again? The other day, my next door neighbor to, um, was talking to me. She hadn't been working as a nurse for so long, and she's been stressful. The family's growing. She thought she was retiring. The kids came back, and she was wondering, could she go into nursing again? And I thought about it until another video I get, I mean, sorry, another message from my subscriber asking me the same question. She's in Maryland, and she wants to know, is it okay Will she be able to get back into nursing after so many years? How to get back into nursing again? There's several ways to get back. But before I start, I want to make it clear. Older nurse, you're never too old. Your license is lapsed. Some of you kept up with your license, but you haven't worked as a nurse for many, many years. Here's the thing. You need to know this. There is several ways of getting back to the nursing, and I'm trying to tell you the truth. 
your expectation. I know you have a lot of experience as a nurse, but you have got to remember that you've been out of nursing for a while. Don't go expecting the same salary as the nurse who have been consistently in the field. I need to tell you that up front. They may want to start you as a new grad, the pay. But here's the thing. You're getting your foot in the door. So why not take the less pay? If you can. But before you do it, if you want to get back in the hospital, you need to have an idea what it is you need to get started. You want to jump start. So when they look at your resume, yeah, they're going to ask you the question, what have you been doing all those years? Oh, I took care of my kids. That's like me. There's a gap in my resume. They want to know what have you been doing since last year? There's almost there's so much stories that you can tell. I took care of my kids. I had a sick husband. My mom had cancer. And you could do on and on and some people lie. That's the bottom line. But you can't do it forever. You have to come up with a solution. What are you going to see? How are you going to answer the question? And how you, what you're going to bring to the table after all these years. Don't worry. I'm going to get you back in the door. If the hospital is what you want to go to. But let's talk about another way of getting into back into the hospital or getting back into the nursing. You already have your license. The nursing home. Here we go again with the nursing home. The nursing home will embrace you. Open their arm to an older nurse. Believe it or not, you, older nurse tend to be more loyal. I don't know. It does. It sounds like I'm discriminating against the young, but it's not that. The younger nurse have many choices. They might do travel nurse. Maybe you don't want to do travel. You're older. You want to stay closer to home. You don't want to travel. So you want to go to that one location. So it's not that I'm discriminating against the younger people. You're not as flexible anymore. The nursing home. Try the nursing home first. But if you really want to, if the nursing home is really not your thing and you're willing to wait, there's some steps that you need to take to get into the hospital. Your license first, you need to take care of that. So you're going to call the board or apply to get your license activated again. And they may want you to do a refreshing course. Some people say re-entry program. And I'm going to tell you towards the end of the video the different programs that you can get into. And some are costly, but, you know, it's well worth it because... Technology has changed since you last went to nursing school, since you last work at the hospital. They are more computerized, and the older nurses need to, you know, get to um, up to date on computers. They're willing to teach you. They're willing to, if you take the program, I think that you have a better chance of getting a job in the hospital than the nurse who are just been out of nursing for like five, six, sometimes 10 years and just expect to come back. Now, you have a bit, you stand a better chance if you take the refresher re course. I think it's about three months to six months program. After years of not working as a nurse, it's like starting over. You are going to start over. And I'll be honest with you. Don't expect to get the salary that 
they may offer other nurses who has 28 plus years working as a nurse and is still not working as a nurse. They may try to give you less and it's up to you. But my advice is to take it. There's a reason why you wanted to come back. So don't shortchange yourself. You can always get another job once you get that one year back because what you're going to do is feel more confident about yourself, about your skill, because things are changing every day in nursing. They have more technology, more advanced stuff. And if you have been keeping it up, keeping up with the time, that's okay. But for those of you who have been sitting at home, just let the license go, say, I'll never be going back into nursing. And you're at that point in your life where now the money is scarce at home. So with the kids coming back and the grandkids you have, you have left to take care of, it's time for you to do something. And Simple working in the nursing home is cons- it could be worthwhile, but if you insist that oh that's not for me and it's not for everybody, you can do other things. You can go back into the hospital if you're up to it. I know somebody who's doing it now and she's much older. As a matter of fact, I was on Facebook and I saw that this lady she was 90 years old and she was still working as a nurse in the OR. So it can be done. Nursing, unless you gave up your license, unless they take it away, you can continue to work forever. Yeah, the truth. So you have to get in touch with the Board of Nursing. And depends on, like, I had let my um, New Jersey license lapse. I stopped. Um, I didn't renew it every year. And so it, it costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of money to get it back on track. And they wanted me to, they also wanted me to take a reentry program, get into a program to get back my license. But I didn't have to do it because I was working other places. So I was still working as a nurse. So I didn't have to do that. Now, if New Jersey was my only license and I still lived here and I wanted to get it back, then I would have to go through that program. But unfortunately, I mean, I got the license back. An agency was doing a travel assignment, and they asked me, do I want to go to Jersey? And I said, I have a Jersey license, but it's lapsed, so I need to get it renewed, and they pay for it. So that's another way. So I did not have to take that reentry or refresher program to get the license back. I got New Jersey license back. Now, I promise not to let all these license, I must have maybe 20 something nursing license in every state. You have to get a new license and you have to keep them up. There's quite a few that I let slide. I just didn't think I want to work there. But if I decide to go back, I'm at a more advantage than you who let all your license or that one license lapse. I might just have to pay the fee and get the license renewed. So you need to know that. So they want you to take a re-entry course. And how to get back in nursing is practice. The program is very successful. There's one in Kennesaw, um, Kennesaw State University here in Georgia. It's a refresher program. I'm not sure how many months or is it a year? I'm not, it shouldn't be a year, I would imagine. Um, but it requires, some of the requirements that this particular program wanted you to have, wanted you to be a U.S. citizen, wanted you to have some form of hospital experience, um, even back in the days if you work in the hospital, they want you to have that. And it's an on-campus and it's an online 
orientation. And there's also another one in Blue Ridge, um, Rome, Georgia. Another thing I found out, some hospital, you can apply for the hospital. When you go on the interview, you explain to them you've been out of nursing. Be honest. My thing is, if you be honest with the recruiter, they're looking for nurses. And they, I, I guarantee you, they will hire some older nurses. If you can prove that, I'm not sure I should say the word prove. Just be honest and say, I've been out of work. I've been, now the kids came back and I have to come back. And I decided to come back. Something to that way. You know, make them, you know how to do it. Anyway, you're going to go to that extensive orientation. It's long, but it's beneficial. And the refresher course is basically going over clinical again. See what you remember and enhance your learning experience. Another refresher certificate is Community College of Baltimore. Maryland Board of Nursing, in, incidentally, has a link where you can ha see all the approved nurse refresher course. Because in order to get your license back, you must pass this refresher course and get a certificate so you can tell the board or the board can receive that you're back in nursing and you know your skills and you're up to date and also the hospital will hire you. Some hospital will hire you based on you taking the refresher course, but you really have to do it to get your license. So either way, it's, it's um, they might not hire you unless you do this because you need this refresher course or re-entry program in order to pass and get your license in order to get your license it's not a test in other words i'm trying to say it's not a test to again that you did like an nclex it's just a program that's going to teach you and keep you fast paced up to date what's going on in nursing medication wise clinical wise everything you do in clinical is like a refresher course for you Villanova University also has the program in Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania, it's outside of Philadelphia. And the community college, I can't talk, Community College of Allegheny County has an RN and LPN refresher program. So if you say, I don't want to be a nurse, I don't want to be an LPN anymore, and then something happened, you want to come back, then you have to go back and get your license now in stipulation to that they do a background check so if the reason that your license were lapsed other than normally you let it go but if it was something like you had drug issue you had issues with felony and other issue that the board felt they needed to take away your license i would suggest only a lawyer can discuss that. I don't know anything about it. I'm talking about people who decided that they don't want to work as a nurse and their original license or the license in the state that they work, they let it go. Those are the type of people or older nurses I'm talking about. <clears throat> so... It's a good program. I know quite a few people that did it and they're back in nursing. And, you know, one of the things that one of my supporters, subscriber, was concerned about, she was getting old and she was wondering, can she make it in nursing? I saw on YouTube or Facebook or somewhere, there was a 90-year-old lady, like I said. You can, so long as you got this mind and you know when you get in there, you'll get back on track. 
the pace in the hospital, my concern, if you can deal with the pace, fast pace, then go for it. If not, I would say the nursing home, I would say psych facility, those are low key position for older nurse, retired nurse that are coming back in the field. But if you're that one that you just has to be in the fast pace, then go for it. You can do it. I'm with you. So there's several programs that I saw this other one. I'm not sure about it. It's an online one. I would be very careful of the online course because if I've been out of nursing for a long time, I want to be able to, in a clinical setting, you know, working with the IV. They have several IVs now that do several things. They could hook up six fluids at once. So you need to know how to use that. The EKG machine, the, um, how to do CPR. You need to all that. To get you started so I wouldn't recommend an online course what are you gonna sit at the computer and you know some people may get away doing that but I wouldn't suggest that so if you like this video please share and support me so that I will get noticed in YouTube and any question if you have more questions just let me know Leave it in the comment, and I will create a video to explain more. I just wanted to come out here because I know the economy is changing, and don't sit home if you have a license and you feel that you're ready to go back to work. Even going back to work part-time, it helps. Don't sit and struggle when you know you can do it. I know, I know what you're going to say. It's stressful. It's depressing at times. Sometimes you want to go to work. You don't want to go to work. I know the feeling. I've been there. But we can't just sit back and suffer. You have a license. Utilize it. Utilize it as much as you can. And when you really feel like giving it up and give it back to the board, then you do that. But just remember, do not let anyone take that license from you. Do not like let you, do not lose your license. Take care of your license. Do the right thing. And you will continue to work forever. Trust me. Thank you. Have a wonderful day or night in your